Clay Wilson last updated 0734-1809-2017 USA Today at Sports Scott Dixon has history of coming from behind at the last race to win the IndyCar crown. Getty Images Team Penske President Tim Sindrick knows the threat the Kiwi star poses in such a high-stakes situation. Supplied the number 9 chip Ganassi Racing Honda driven by Dixon will be one of five cars everyone has their eye on at Sonoma Raceway. Motorsport Tim Sindrick DIDNT say Scott Dixon was the favorite for the IndyCar title, but the president of rival outfit Team Penske may as well have a four-time champion in the hugely popular North American Open Wheel Series. Kiwi driver Dixon bids for a fifth championship in the season finale at Sonoma, California on Sunday, Monday morning NZ time. Part of the Chip Ganassi Racing Stable since 2002, the South Auckland raced race a trail standings leader Joseph Newgarden by just three points going into to the double points event to decide who will lift the Astor Cup. With the Newgarden in front of him and Helio Castro Neves, Simon Page and Oumal Power behind him, Dixon is the lone driver of the five in contention for overall honours not from Chevrolet Power Team Penske. Read more Dixon surprised by season after big changes Scott Dixon second with one IndyCar race left Dixon's hopes dented with sixth place finish Dixon loses series lead after ninth place finish Dixon survives wild ride crash at Indy 500 while that may lead some to believe the New Zealander in the Honda powered number no. 9 car was at a disadvantage Sindrick did not quite see it that way. Yeah, I think if it WASNT Scott Dixon, I would say that our odds are really good, the Penske president said. When you look at the fact that Scott has been there, done that, executed really more than all of our guys combined, I would have to do the math, but HES been the guy to beat when it comes to championships. HE's been solid everywhere. You don't see him make any mistakes. HE's as solid as they come. Essentially, when you look at a three-point advantage, the way the point structure is, you essentially say he and Joseph are tied. A quick glance at Dixon's 17-year IndyCar career shows where Sindrick is coming from. Add feedback the 37-year-old has 41 race wins in that time, placing him fourth on the all-time list, as well as 96 podiums and 26 pole positions. A fifth championship would put him second all-time, trailing only American legend A.J. Ford, who won seven. It's no surprise then, especially when you also consider his humble and affable demeanor, he is probably the most respected and admired current driver among his peers and along pit lane. But despite all he has achieved, situations like this do not get any less tense. It's how you want the championship to come down to the wire for the fans and everybody involved. It's definitely exciting for us, but I'd much prefer coming to the last race having already sewn up the championship for having a big points advantage. That goes some way to summing Dixon the driver up, a true professional always striving for more and never satisfied with anything but top spot. It is also understandable, though, when you hear how he looks back on the first 15 rounds of the season. Dixon, with just one win in 2017, believes he should have taken the checkered flag in at least two more events, while he also reflects on how strong he felt about his chances before his spectacular crash at the Indy 500. Seven podiums, including two second-place finishers coming into Sonoma, have put the Kiwi star in a great position to make all those disappointments mean nothing. A position he remains level-headed about but is relishing given the accolades that await. Five titles sounds great, he said. Sounds better than four. But there's a lot of people we have to go through to make that possible. But yeah, when you start to look at those lists and how we're approaching the top parts of those lists, you know, it feels great. But my focus is definitely trying to win the race, and hopefully we can look at those later in life. Stuff.